is my three week update of Manjaro. I'm still in my pajamas, so please excuse that. Um, yeah, so let me give you my three week update. It's gonna be a quick one. Um, I'm filming this still in my pajamas because I forgot to film it. Normally I film it Friday and upload it Saturday because I edit it on Friday, but I forgot to film it. So I'm gonna film it today, which is Saturday at 9.29, film it, edit it, and upload it before 12 so you'll have it for today. So if you hear any noise in the background, it's because I'm in my kitchen, my dog is walking around, my cat's eating, everybody's still sleeping. So let's get into the update. So this week wasn't as eventful for weight loss, but still weight loss. Um, I had lost, I think it was a pound, so I'm still down. Um, in the morning, I do look kind of puffy. So because you do see, I don't look as thin, but I will post a picture yesterday of what I looked like. And you can definitely tell that like I'm getting like a jaw, <laughs> like these cheeks are starting to go like, smaller and I'm losing all this, which is really good. I always tend to lose weight in my face faster and that's more noticeable than anything in my body. It's always my face first. Um, as of going to the doctor on and starting Manjaro, on October 3rd until now which is October 22nd I've lost a total of almost 10 pounds I've gone from 308 to 297 um, that is a really big thing I think um, to lose almost almost 10 pounds in a matter of a month is really good I think it's not too fast it's not too slow you don't want to lose it too fast because then you have excess skin and then you just gain it back um, I think it's a good amount. Um, all together before starting Manjaro, I've lost almost 15 pounds or over that. I think now I think like 16 because I was 313 in August before I started Manjaro. Um, and now I'm 297. Hi. Um, so, so all before Manjaro, you know, I've lost weight. Now, my big accomplishment for me is soda and diet soda. I have been off that for almost a month now. I'm so proud of myself. I stopped that October 3rd, so I'm so proud of myself. Like I don't drink soda, diet soda. I used to drink diet soda, I used to drink Coke Zero. I stopped that completely, 100% stopped that. I do drink, I do drink um, Gatorade Zero, which I'm trying to cut that out too, um, but I do not drink diet, so I'm very proud of myself because it has been a really bad thing for me in my whole life. I've always had soda in my life. My mom is diabetic. She lives with me and she still has soda all the time. She will not quit soda. She just is addicted to soda. So, so it has always been in my life. So I'm so glad that I was able to kick it. Some days are harder than others, but since kicking it, no, my, like I have some migraines, but not as bad as I used to. So definitely I'm so glad that I kicked that. I also need to start upping my water and exercising. I still haven't incorporated that yet because I'm going to be candid with you guys. I don't sugarcoat anything on my channel. I never have. And if you're coming from somewhere just to find out about Manjaro, like I did when I wanted to start it, um, when I found out about it from my doctor, I there wasn't really much talk about it. So I hope this video helps. Um, so I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I've not left my house since... October 4th, 5th, um, because I'm petrified. I have a lab work I have to do for my doctor, and I'll talk about my lab work when I come back on November. Um, I have lab work October 25th, and I'm terrified because I have not left my house because I literally cannot stop going to the bathroom. Like, it's so bad. Um, it's just... This may be TMI, but again, if you're gonna take this medicine, I feel like you guys should know this. I have not, um, I have not had an actual, like, how do I say this? Again, TMI, but again, if, you, if you're taking this medicine, you should know what you're signing yourself up for. You will have diarrhea for as long as you take this medicine. I've had it for a month now, and it's made me where I can't leave the house. So it's pretty bad. Um, so I am terrified to go to my my lab appointment on Tuesday. But 
does the bad outweigh the good? For me, it does because I want to be a mom. I've always wanted, wanted to be a mom and my weight has always kind of hindered that because having PCOS and I've lost enough weight that my BMI is now we went from 51 to 49 and that's a big big accomplishment and my OB is now willing to help me with fertility medicine and stuff so it to me it does outweigh the bad um and I now that I've been on it for three for about <coughs> sorry about three weeks I can tell you multi sorry my dog um I can tell you exactly kind of how my system handles it now Basically, I get my injection on Monday, which you guys saw. <coughs> this dog, I swear. Hold on, guys. Sorry, guys. I had to pick him up because he kept eating stuff, off, eating stuff off the floor. Do you ever have a, a dog that just eats stuff, off, eats stuff off the floor? It's annoying. Okay. So, I get my injection on Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday is where I start to feel really, really bad side effects. And I don't feel good. And my stomach is really, really bad. I taper off and start feeling really hungry around like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's when I know my shot is due on Monday because I start getting really hungry. And that's one thing with Manjaro is I'm not hungry. Um, food is a real big turnoff. And finding what I want to eat and what my body wants to eat is such a pain in the ass. Like my mom made BLTs the other day. And I took one bite of it, and I was like, nope, don't want it. And I didn't eat it. And then she made chicken patties the other day, took one bite of it, didn't eat it. Um, I think I had, for one night, I just had like, what did I have? I actually ate spaghetti. I had spaghetti with um, spaghetti squash that I made, which spaghetti squash is delicious. I had that. I had a little bit of like a small serving size. Um, but my meals are really like sporadic. Um, I know I'm not the healthiest, like I'll have like a lunchable, but again, it's what my body can really eat. Um, I don't eat breakfast. I just drink like a little bit of like a, an organic apple juice in the morning. Cause again, I don't really want to eat. Uh, lunch is either an Uncrustable or a Lunchable. Um, dinner is mainly my big meal and I don't, um, Yesterday we had tacos. I actually ate two tacos. I guess one and a half again, um, which is a big, which is big for me because I really don't eat. Um, what else? I can't really be around cooking or like the smell of cooking. Like so, my mom is taking over the cooking and my fiance is taking over that job, which is really good because I just the smell of cooking, like meat cooking, like I just makes me nauseous. Like I just I can't. Um, so they have taken over that job. I bought a lot of food like to eat and stuff and I don't really want to eat it. Um, like I bought bananas, bananas didn't taste good. So you really have to figure out what your body likes and what it doesn't like, which is kind of a pain. Um, so that's really the pain that I've been trying to learn. Um, and then like I was telling my friend Vanessa, I know I don't eat a lot, which is kind of why I think I've been getting migraines and stuff because I'm not eating a lot of calories. I eat probably way under a, a thousand calories, like way under. I know I do. I haven't kept, kept track of it. I might keep track of it next week just because I'm curious to tell my doctor, but it's way under a thousand. I know it is. Um, but again, it's, it's just, it's a give and take, you know? Um, another thing is, as long as I keep getting the samples from my doctor, I'm gonna keep taking Manjaro because Manjaro right now um, is only approved as I think diabetes medicine, and it's okay. And if you're not um, like if you're not diabetes, if you're pre-diabetic, PCOS, they don't they don't cover it, and you have to pay out of pocket. And I looked up the the cheapest one. Okay is I think 965 or something or 962 a month, which is a lot of money. Um, some people can make it work. I could make it work, but that would really stretch me thin for the month and make me not be able to do anything. I mean, I don't do anything a month anyways, but um, it would really make me not be able to have any money for the month. But is it worth it though? 
to get my goal to be a mom. Um, I'll have to wait and see. Like I said, I do have a doctor's appointment October 1st. Okay. I have a doctor's appointment October 1st. Um, to see all my labs and stuff. I'll definitely tell you about that. Um, I'll tell you my labs before and after because I know they probably have gone down. Um, I do have a non-alcoholic fatty liver. So I definitely want to know if that stuff has gone down. Um, cause that was one thing that was scaring my fiance and me. So we'll see if that went down. Um, like I said, I have labs on Tuesday. So pray for me cause I'm really scared. I mean, I'm taking an Uber there and back, so it'll be fine. Um, normally I take a bus, but I'm not going to chance it. Um, so I'm taking an Uber there and back. But yeah, that's been week three. Um, not really as eventful. Week one and week two, I think were the worst. Week three is just kind of just getting to know my body more and understanding what it wants to eat and what it doesn't want to eat is more of a pain in the ass this week. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I, shh, okay, 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 they don't want to hear you. I do want to incorporate, like I said, exercise. Um, I might try to do some workouts in the house maybe since I really can't go out of the house. Um, and then incorporate more water because that definitely needs to incorporate water. I don't want to keep drinking sugar. Um, zero sugar Gatorade because I don't know if that's 100% good for you to drink all the time. Um, but yeah, that is week three's update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are taking Manjaro, let me know your guys' like success stories. Um, if you're not taking it and you are going to be taking it, let, let me know. Definitely follow me. I'd love to know your guys' journey. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Say bye. Bye.